Hello friends, this is Ifa. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share my March 2023 bullet journal setup. For this month's theme, I am going to make matcha dessert along with a teapot and some matcha doodles. All of the supplies I'm using here in this video is listed in the description. If we talk about the inspiration of this theme, I'd like to mention a Japanese cooking channel named Hidamari Cooking. I absolutely love their ASMR cooking videos, so recently I saw their matcha sweet roll which was stunning and it made me to make this theme for my March bullet journal setup. In this cover page, I'm drawing a teapot with my uni pin pen, which is size 05 and shade brown. I didn't want to add black fine liner all over this doodle, so I used this brown for this teapot because I wanted to make this teapot as a ceramic teapot. And for the Swiss roll, I used a dark green Tombow Dual Brush Pen and I use their fine liner side to draw the outline of this Swiss roll. So here I just made a little mistake but while coloring these steps I just somehow covered it up. And for the strawberry I used a Chinese red color which is also a Tombow dual brush pen and for the cup and this square spoon I used my Sakura Pigma Micron which is in black shape. For the color of this teapot, I used this brown color because I wanted to make this teapot as a ceramic teapot which doesn't have colored in and this coloring process was very healing for me as you can see it's very seamless but in the end when I just added some shadows on this teapot it didn't turn out the way I wanted to make it. So yeah and also the outline was kind of disappeared while i was coloring these steps so i was a little worried for this swiss roll at first i added this dark green and i thought it would look good but later i found that this green is very very dark so i switched it with this asparagus color for the filler or the cream of the swiss roll i used this mint color and later i added a yellowish green color to make this swiss roll look like there are some burned areas of this cake after baking for the cup i also wanted to make it looks like a wooden or a ceramic cup so i used a sand color for the plate, I just used a grey color. I didn't want to add any other color into this color scheme. At the top of the Swiss roll, I wanted to add this cream. And for the strawberry, I really didn't want to add too much red color. So I just added a little bit of Chinese red color in the strawberry with the dotted technique and i wanted to make it look like on that strawberry there are some icing sugar for decorating purpose on the <laughs> on the cup i wanted to add a smoke from this hot tea but i felt that it doesn't look like a hot tea or smoke Later, I added some details on that teapot and also I overdrew the border of that teapot. And for some drop shadows, I used that grey Tombow dual brush pen. After all of these details, I am finished up with my cover page. This cover page looks like very big but it didn't take me too much time to draw and color all of the steps right now i like it but it didn't turn out the way i wanted i am hoping to like it till the end of march while making this i would like to talk about my patreon page where i post digital or printable calendars wallpapers sticker sheets 
a digital version of my cover page and a blank version also a full journaling kit for bullet journaling or planning in this month my patent page will be turned out a year so it is the first anniversary of my patron page so i am very happy who have been supported me from the very first months until now even though you are not my patron anymore i truly love you all because the support you have given me in the beginning was very overwhelming for me honestly i'm very thankful for the support you have given me and those kindness that you have shown me through my journey also i'd like to mention my patrons from this month raquel brinster missy regina t and christy thank you so much for the support you have given me this far and in this new year also for my anniversary i've decided to made an extra sticker sheet to give all of my patrons as a token of love so i hope you all like it too in the next spread i'm making my monthly calendar page which is this horizontal calendar i don't write too much in my monthly log so i like this kind of space where i can write the keywords for my tasks or events so here in this monthly log i have five by four spaces for each day so in this monthly log i also use grid washi tips and the washi tape set from notebook therapy named cottage core friends and after my cover page and monthly log i am making my mood and habit trackers yes i'm making my mood tracker again after a long time even though i make it in december 2022 but i didn't use that very much so in this month i have decided to make a mood tracker and i wanted to see how this tracker will help me to track my mood or the day afterward for the mood tracker i made a different type of layout that i have never made before or i never seen before so here i just added 31 boxes and also added the notations like angry sad happy and very happy and the last one is so so that means neither i feel happy or sad or anything just that day has been passed normally and for the habit tracker i added eight mini calendars i really didn't want to make this much trackers but this time i thought i should try a bit more trackers <laughs> And for the decoration i added a muffin in the mood tracker page so the muffin is made of matcha flour and all those ingredients with chocolate i added this mint color for the bottom paper and later i added this brown color to make it look like a burnt or baked muffin and also i added this sand color in the inside of that muffin after this step i added some chocolates here and some details but later when i add this brown outlines i don't like this muffin that much and also the shadings of this muffin go over my thoughts so it doesn't look the way i wanted For the habit tracker spread, I added a tart which I found in Pinterest and it was all over the Pinterest. Like I have seen this kind of cheesecakes all over the social media but I wanted to add this in my bullet journal as well. So here I added four colors. First one is a dark green, then this lighter green and this asparagus color. And the last one is the mint color. And for the lift white space, I added a bit of gray to it looks like a shadow. And later I added some extra doodles, which is the 
matcha powders and I added some drop shadows here. After making all of these details with sparkles, I'm done with my mood and habit tracker. The next spread I'm making here is my content planner. Honestly, I don't think that I'm good at writing these bolder headers with these large tombodol brush pens. It looks okay and I think I need more practices. For this content planner, I made a vertical calendar which I always make and here I added some color codings for my task like for this brown color, I just marked it as my uploading schedule for YouTube. The mint color is for filming day and this sand color is for editing and others. Besides the content planner, I made two smaller trackers for my YouTube and Instagram. So for the pattern planning, I didn't add that much, but I added a header with my green fine liner. And here I am drawing a mini cake with a strawberry and some other accessories. While making this doodle, I added some notes like where I wanted to make it look like a cake and where I want to make it look like a cream. The white spaces are for creams and some cookie chips and the others are for the matcha cake. So I hope it looks like that. If you're not a creator, you can use this whole content planning and pattern planning spread as your working planning or your study planner spread. So I hope this layout helps you a little. If you are willing to post any spreads that is inspired by me, please mention in your social media contents like Instagram posts, stories, or if you want to share it with me in DMs, you are highly appreciated. After adding some drop shadows and some washi tapes, I'm done with my content planner and my pattern planning page. So here is my last spread for this video which is this my weekly spread. This spread layout is inspired by Amanda Rachley of course and normally I make this type of layers a bit smaller but this time I made this a bit larger than usually I make. So after this layout I added a doodle or illustration here to make this whole weekly spread cohesive. I made much a mixer, I don't know what it's called, please enlighten me. And I made a cup which is shown from the upper view and some green matcha powders. So for the matcha tea, I wanted to make it look like some bubbles here. So I used this light olive green color and some gray and my jelly roll pen to make this whole tea look like there are some bubbles and matcha tea in this cup. I hope this makes sense. And for this wooden tray, I only used this sand color. And later I added some shades or shadows for the matcha powder. So after adding some sparkles again, I am done with my weekly spreads. So here comes the final thread through. I truly like this setup a lot and it doesn't look like the way I wanted but I think it turned out pretty well and I hope you like this video as well and if this video 
inspires you a little let me know in the comments thank you very much for watching this video i hope you like this video if you do please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel i hope you're having a great year ahead and i'll see you in my next video bye guys